Hello everybody, I'm Lawrence from Unicorn Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the Be Quiet Straight Power 680 watt power supply, which is a modular power supply. Uh, it's an E9 model, so right now, start of uh, 2013, this is their latest model. Uh, it's gold rated. It's not as expensive as the Xilinx uh, power supply, but I'm going to tell more about the price in the conclusion, so better watch all the video. And I'm going to bring you guys in and give you a look around the box and do an unboxing. And then of course we're also going to install it into the system, well not really install it, I'm going to plug it into our system, do a power supply test so you guys get an idea of how much noise this thing puts out because they do say it has to be quiet. And then we're going to do the conclusion, so better grab something to drink and eat because this is going to take a while. Alright, let's do an unboxing. Um, on the front, you just get a image of the product, the name, some... Uh, they say it's very quiet, quietly operating because of their Silent Wings technology. This still uses the Silent Wings, the original Silent Wings fan, not the Silent Wings 2 fan I reviewed earlier. Uh, it's gold, which is important. Got cable management. Uh, on the top, link to their website, and of course a little logo, that's all. On the side, stuff in Polish and Spanish, and some reviews they've won. On the other side, in French, so no English, maybe on the bottom. The no, bottom is pretty much the same as the top, so for the back, this is probably the important part. Got in German and English right here. So these are the cable lengths. I don't know if you guys can actually read it. So um, you get a 58 centimeter. So this, all of this stuff is 58 centimeters, and then they add 15 centimeters for each thing after. So you can just see what it is. Um, it's 160 millimeters long. This model, so fairly normal size for an ATX power supply. Uh, 680 watts which is all rails combined. The main rail will give you 660 watts and then on the 3.3 and 5 volt rails you get 160 watts. So obviously you can't max them out all out at the same time. Um, so let's open this thing. And this is not very helpful. So normally it should open like this and just give you like a plain black thing to uh, look at. So you just take this piece of cardboard out, get an instruction manual. So I mean everybody knows how you install a power supply. So a lot of text about warranty and you know what connectors it has, how you have to plug it in, that sort of stuff. And straight away you get to see the main unit. So I'm just going to take this all out. Hey, cables. So, um, they also come with these Velcro thingies for cable management. But I think they mostly use them just to uh, help with the packaging. Um, they come with two sets of uh, 6 plus 2 pins. So they're very bright blue, a bit see-through on this end and then it's a single connector on the other end. This is the green one. Sorry guys, we're going to have to redo this part here. Um, so yeah, where, where was I? I was talking about these cables, right? So you got these bright blue, slightly transparent um, 6 plus 2 pins on one side and then on the other side you get a green or a red 8 pin that plugs into your power supply so you can do two-way or two-way crossfire or SLI or maybe in the future if you have like cars that can support three or uh, four-way crossfire or SLI you might even run this um, you know depending on how much power they use of course you don't want to overstress your stuff um, the braid it's you know when you compress it it's pretty good but when you stretch it it's you know half the cables are black and the other half is yellow even a bit of blue in there yeah there's one I'm guessing um, the plus two pins on the eight pins 
are um, yellow plus blue because there there's no actual electricity on those two pins of the 8 pin so I guess that's what the uh, yellow and blue are um, accessories just screws no stickers or anything um, what other cables have we got here? Oh, peripheral cables, sure. So, this end plugs into your power supply and then you get one, two... Oh, so you got two SATAs, two Molexes, and a floppy power. Surprised to find these actually nowadays. I mean, no one uses floppies. The only thing it's used for um, is sound cards, I guess. So again, this side plugs into your power supply, and then you got three SATA powers on this end. And then what else have we got here? 4 plus 4 pin, and just a 10 pin. But as you can see, the, uh, the middle ones have no uh, wire in them, so that's just your 4 plus 4, or 8 pin, whatever you want to call it. There's more to come. Um, there's a lot of SATA connectors on this one. So you got four SATA connectors on this side. Again, the normal connector thingy, and then you got four Molexes on this cable. So they do like uh, specific Molex and SATA power cables, and they also have like mixed cables. So if you only got one hard drive and maybe an optical drive, should you still use optical drives? Then we got all of that stuff. Also, it comes with a little baggy against, you know, stuff getting moist. And let's push all that out of the way and take a look at the actual unit. Um, this is, of course, where all the stuff plugs into. So you get these PCI1 and PCI2 power connectors, peripheral correctors, or drives as they call it here. And then, of course, your 8 pin. And the 24 pin is a 20 plus 4 pin design. Um, it comes with these little. Oh my god. Uh, these little thingies, so they click into place. So you got your 24 pin there. Um, yeah, your warranty is void if you remove this part. If you install it fan down, it'll look like a bit like this. So again, information about amps and um, wattages on which rails, another 80 plus gold certification thingy. I'm going to post the product link again to help you guys out. Um, black top or bottom depending on how you look at it. I always install power supply uh, fan up. You got these grills, so and wired grills, so nothing should fall into them. Uh, on the back, your power connector and switch, another nice clicking thingy. For some reason I don't like this tape around the coils, but oh well, that's just me. Um, inside there's this edge, which should be orange, um, but my camera is having some problems with the light, of course. I, once again, light problems. So in there is a 135mm uh, silent wings fan. I actually don't know if this is a PWM fan or 3 pin. It's... From what I can see, I'm gonna... There's only two cables in there. So it's... None of both. It's just an all or nothing system. No, not an all or nothing system. But you know what I mean, right? There's no, uh, it's not a usual fan. Um, so I'm going to install this into our system and then we're going to run a power supply test. Alright folks, um, I've got the straight power um, connected to our system. And I'm just going to show you. Now if any of you thinks this is the way you hook up a power supply to a system, you should not get near computers. Um, this is pretty much a giant cable jungle with um, two power supplies plugged into the same system at once. Do not do this. Unless of course you're testing like I am right now. Um, 
I'm gonna try and bring you guys even closer to the actual. No, I'm actually gonna take you uh, off the tripod. So, shaking is guaranteed. And I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna put the LED on. Alright then, the LED is on. So, um, this is what it looks like when it's spinning. Of course, it's. I haven't got proper lights, so it's a bit hard. Now, if you install it fan up, this is how it'll look in your system. No, it isn't. You'll be looking at it from the other side. So, this, this is what it will look like. I can't really... Yeah, the cables are a bit short, so I can't really do this. But you'll get the um, embossed Be Quiet logo. Uh, that's what you'll be seeing. So... Is the orange picking up? It isn't. Um, so you can see over there, we have OCCT running, power supply test, CPU maxing out, graphics cards maxing out. As you can see, they're all overclocked. Um, lots of volts through everything. This is by far as you know. This is as far as I would go. So two 460s overclocked and an overclocked bulldozer on only 680 watts it's a bit at the limit even though these guys um, at Be Quiet actually say this power supply does 750 watts if it stays cool enough and this fan should have no problem keeping it cool enough now I'm gonna do something here you really shouldn't do in a, an attempt to show you guys the um, sound difference so this is no fan And this is with fan. And you know, let's now do the conclusion. So guys, we made it to the conclusion. Um, I'm gonna unplug all the cables real quick here. Which is a, actually I can't. But, oh, I can. Yeah, sure, no problem. Doing everything on camera here, making it look super professional. Oops, that was pretty hot. But, uh, so, got the uh, Be Quiet straight power power supply, which is their mid-end power supply thing. So, above that, the other thing is um, the dark power power supply, which comes in way higher voltages. Um, the only modular ones with these, I think, is the 680 and the 530. Uh, you can just see it when you buy them. They say CM. And I would actually recommend buying it because I'm going to give it yet another gold award. It's not because I'm too lazy to do the other awards, but it's pretty good value for money. I think it's 110 euros and it can power a system which is rather outdated, uses a lot of power, creates a lot of heat. This thing doesn't get hot. It doesn't make any noise. Well, it makes some noise, obviously, but... You can't hear it over the noise the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro makes, and the graphics car cards make, and the case fans make. I pulled one of my fans out of my system, that's not a good thing. Um, so yeah, Gold Award. What else should I say? Pretty sure that's it. So if you got any questions about this, or another power supply, or computer stuff in general, or you want to request a review, uh, feel free to ask. And this is just the same as every other channel does, but don't forget to subscribe.